Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to be making a keto casserole and this is gonna be made out of cauliflower, cabbage, one small carrot and some onions and garlic. It's gonna be really delicious. So please join me and I hope you like it. So our ingredients today for our casserole are going to be a whole cabbage, one small carrot, a slice of red onion, and also some cauliflower cut into kind of skinny pieces. And so all I'm gonna do is add about a tablespoon of butter to my pan, and then I'm gonna start sauteing the vegetables. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my butter to the pan. I'm gonna heat it up to about 250 degrees, and I'm gonna get that sizzling, and then I'll bring you right back. Okay, so to this saute pan, I'm gonna add my, I have one medium head of cabbage shredded. I've got a shredded carrot. I've got about a third of a cauliflower cut into pieces and some red onion. So all I'm gonna do is put that in my pan and I'm gonna saute these vegetables. Now I'm not gonna saute them and cook them all the way through, but I wanna get a good portion of the water out before I put it into my casserole. So this is gonna look like a ridiculous amount of food, but what's going to happen is that a lot of this cabbage and everything is gonna be cooking down. There's a lot of water in these vegetables. And then I'll show you what this looks like as soon as it starts to break down. I'm actually gonna put a lid on it and let it just start cooking. Now I decided to add another tablespoon of butter. And I think the most important thing is you just wanna make sure when you're preparing this, these vegetables for your casserole that you don't burn the bottom of them. All you really wanna do is cook them down enough that you're gonna be getting uh, a lot of the water out so your casserole is, you know, more vegetables and meat than it is water. So, as you can see, it's already cut, it's already cooked down quite a bit. But <clears throat> the, uh, you know what's interesting, even though this is considered a keto casserole, uh, it also can be just, you know, a delicious casserole. It could be a, you know, a healthy casserole. I think the main thing is you're getting a lot of vegetables. And in this one, I'm putting some ground beef in it, but you could put pork, or chicken or ground turkey, whatever it is that you like. So I'm gonna cook this down to the point that, you know, I have it ready to put in the casserole dish and I'll show you what it looks like just as soon as it's completed. It's, it's already smelling amazing. I don't know if you've had a lot of cooked cabbage and onions, but it's so good. Okay, we've cooked down the vegetables. There's still quite a bit of vegetables in our casserole, but right now we're going to add our ground beef. And I'm adding a pound of ground beef. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of break this up and cook this. And then I'm gonna be adding a few herbs and spices and I'll get the casserole put together. So let me cook this up and I'll come back to you in just a couple of minutes. Now, a trick that I do when I have just a little bit too much fat in my meat is I just use a paper towel and carefully, you don't want to burn yourself, just pick up some of that fat and throw that paper towel away. So this meat is almost cooked. I'm going to leave some of the fat in it because for our particular diet, we do need a little bit more fat, but uh, basically what I'm gonna do at this point is add my garlic. And as I said, I have about a tablespoon of garlic and I'm going to add about, I'd say close to a tablespoon of my dehydrated herbs. So these are a mixture of parsley, basil, thyme, oregano. That's about good. 
And then, oh, those smell so amazing. I just can't even tell you how good those smell. Uh, then I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Now you put in salt and pepper to your taste. I do like pepper quite a bit. Uh, I'm only gonna put a little salt because I'm just looking for the flavors that are gonna dry out the taste of the cabbage. So I'm just gonna finish cooking these up. And as soon as I'm comfortable with how much I've cooked up this ground beef, I'm going to add my vegetables back in the pan a second time. Now I'm not looking to cook them. I'm just looking to mix up my ground beef with the vegetables. Now remember, this is also going to cook in the oven after you have this put together. And <clears throat> I'm making this about 12 noon. I've got, uh, I've got some appointments today. So what I'm gonna do is add my vegetables back in, like so. And like I said, I'm not looking to cook them. I just wanna mix them up. So I want the ground beef and the veggies all mixed together. And then I'm gonna put these back in the casserole dish. And this is gonna be such a delicious dinner. So. What I'll do is I'll put this in a casserole dish and then we'll eat it for a couple of days. But um, the nice part about this is I'll put it in the refrigerator, I'll put it in a cold oven and this will cook up just fine. It's gonna be really, really good. So let me just mix up these ingredients real good. It's going to, oh, this smells amazing, amazing. Oh, it smells good. Let me put this in the casserole pan and I'll show you how it looks. Oh, you're going to like this one. Now at this point, if you were going to bake your casserole, I would put my cheese on top of it. And I usually use a sharp cheddar but for me, I'm actually not gonna cook it for several hours or bake it and cook the cheese until later tonight. So I'm gonna just let this cool a little bit, then I'm gonna cover it in foil and put it in my refrigerator. And when I'm ready to bake it, I'll uncover it, put the cheese on, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready to serve. This is my cabbage and ground beef casserole. It looks and smells delicious. I actually made some air fryer Brussels sprouts to go with it. So let me plate this up and I'll let you know how it came out. This looks and smells delicious. Give it a try.